Well, hey, welcome everybody uh, to another evening of Tech Tip Tuesday. My name is Ken Close. I'll be your host tonight. And I am joined by Jake Barron, Head of Operations for the Americas. Hi, Jake. How are you? Hey, Ken. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And we have tonight Christian with the magic fingers in the uh, chat room from customer yeah. service. Everybody Christian's saying Christian's great, great member of our tech support team here to help with all. Any questions you may have tonight. <laughs> right on. Absolutely. Say hello to Christian and you guys, and thanks for being here. Really, really appreciate that. Um, so, hey, by the way, so my background, guys, I am um, a engineer by trade. I've uh, been with Healy for several years now, since the beginning, actually kind of before we got started here in the U.S., but uh, been around for a while on that. I love the entire frequency energy world. Uh, I do that quite a bit. Um, mm -hmm. So I love talking about it and I'm happy to be here tonight. What we do here on Tech Tip Tuesday is kind of a really open forum, pretty relaxed, pretty easy. Um, you guys put your questions in the chat and then myself, Jake and Christian, we will unpack those questions. We will identify solutions. We will expand on whatever we want, we can expand on, um, and then solve the mysteries for you. How about that? Uh, what, what we can't do is we can't talk about diseases, disorders, metal, medical issues, or solutions, things like that, um, just for compliance reasons. But we also have ways to steer you in the right direction for solutions in that arena as well. So, um, so if you, you can't really ask any specific questions about a specific medical condition, um, but we can steer you in places to get answers for that as well. How about that? Sound fun? It sounds amazing to me. <laughs> That's why I'm here. All right, you guys. Well, put your questions in the chat. And um, and as you're as you're entering those questions, by the way, in the chat, there's some selections there. The the blue window or the blue tab, you can choose um, everyone or a specific person within the chat. Make sure you click on everyone so that when your questions go out, it kind of goes to everyone. They can see them and, and we will pull them up and, and talk about them on the in the group. How about that? Sounds great. All right. Um, so let's see what we got going on here. Um, Marjorie's got one here for us. It says, my newest clients are sleeping through the night and feeling less anger during the day. Um, this after only one week of use. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if there's less anger during the day because they're sleeping better at night. <laughs> I think that's, I, I'll yeah. bet that's related. <laughs> yeah. But that's, that's great. You know, after only one week of use, you know, of course, you know, more restful sleep, um, is one of the, the big things that a lot of people, um, use Healy for. So that's, that's great to hear. And I want, I know, I know Marjorie in the past has mentioned, that uh, she gives her clients, I believe, uh, Mag Healy activated water as well uh, when they're when they're there, either either to drink there or to take with them. So I wonder if using any of those sleep programs or anything related to to that, as far as in the in the water application. So, yeah, great yeah. idea. You know, we talked a little bit about this on last week, um, how we compare things up. Um, you know, we've talked about that more than once. Actually, is how we can. Pair, pair up uh, two Heelys at once or a Mag Healy and a Healy and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So um, the one cool thing about these uh, divine bodies we have is they are able to actually um, regulate, do a lot of regulation, do a lot of um, um, discernment around um, content. So, so when you, you know, I mean, people ask me often, can I overdo it? Well, an overdoing it of, of frequencies or um, energetic work like this means the body kind of does a detox. It, you, you get um, what would be more like a detox symptom. If you guys have ever done, um, you know, cleanses, um, if you've ever done detox type of things with, a, say, deep tissue massage, things like that, a detox symptom is kind of a, a soreness, a stiffness, could be a headache, could be a... Uh, um, brain fog, you know, a little fogginess, um, just the body's trying to clear out, uh, the cobwebs, I guess you might say. And so Healy helps do that. Um, and so overdoing it may feel like that. 
if uh, if that makes sense. Um, I don't see any any questions. I, I personally, the way I use Healy, um, it was interesting when I first came to Healy. Uh, the, the, I do a lot of work in the uh, in the information field, um, in the meditative world. I do a lot of work with uh, Dr. Joe Dispenza and uh, the research team. Um, and so I've done a lot in the the non-physical, right? And uh, during one of the workshops, I, I was in a meditation uh, in 2018, January 2018. And this entire technology came to me. I'm an engineer. My, my brain works in technology. And this idea, this concept of energy and, and the ability to read or analyze my field um, and it, 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 there was even a watch in my meditation <laughs> and it was like, all this stuff came to me. And, uh, so I really understood it back in 2018. And then I got a call from a friend in 2019 saying, Hey, there's this technology I'd like to talk to you about. And it was exactly the same thing. So, um, being able to unpack the concepts and the ways this works is, is really, um, what we do here a lot. And it's a lot of fun. So you guys don't be afraid to ask any question. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so Marjorie's taken us up on that. <laughs> <laughs> I've had, she says, I've had uh, Resonance Plus for over three years and love it. Recently, when I try to do an analysis, I get a message telling me I need to buy it. Okay. Um, interesting, right? When you own the resonance and you get this message that, you know, you have to buy a subscription or something. Um, it may be that you have been logged out. Um, we've seen this before. Um, yeah. And, you know, sometimes when people have multiple Healy, sometimes it it's connecting to a, a different one, possibly, um, especially if you have, you know, a lot on that sort of connection page, but you know, if you, if that is the case, you know, you can always, you know, delete and reinstall the app and kind of clear that, clear that out as an option, or, or even just first try just shutting off your phone and restarting it. Um, I've had a very, a couple of cases, very rare where uh, something happened to the, the, the member's account uh, through Healy corporate itself, through the Healy database itself. And, um, and so the access to what they'd purchased somehow got, um, shut down. And so a customer service ticket had to be placed and then some kind of a reactivation portal uh, was created, but that's rare. I've only seen that. And that's, that was actually right around where we were transitioning from one platform to another. Um, haven't seen that for a while. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, definitely check with our, if, you know, try, try or shutting off re uh, and turning back on, try deleting, reinstall. It says if I delete and reinstall, I lose clients. So everything should be auto synced to the cloud. Assuming you're not running it in demo mode or anything like that, everything would be synced there. And then when you go to reinstall, it'll, it'll send a six digit code to your email address, which you'll then type in. Um, and then it'll pull all your information down from the, the Healy cloud back onto your, device but first first try just shutting off your phone and, and turning it back on um clearing that part out and then if that doesn't work you can try the delete and reinstall and then if that doesn't work you can you know reach our tech support team uh via live chat from 8 a.m to 5 p.m eastern on our on our u.s shop or or you can just go ahead and submit a support ticket too yeah there's there's a process remember folks that your your resonance if you guys own a resonance right which is uh, the ability to put in clients um, if you own one of those, then you have a Healy cloud, a, a, a secure Healy cloud. All right. So basically that's on, on a server. It's a secure Healy cloud. And as Jake mentioned, in order to access that, uh, now the way it works is that you go to log in and it's going to send you a code to your email on the app. Once you log in, the app will pop up with a code, um, some boxes there to, for you to put the code in. And what happens is a code automatically gets sent to your email. Let me let me clarify this, guys. Some people have more than one account. And so they may have multiple Healy's in the same household. And so maybe, you know, dad and mom have an account. Maybe, um, you know, an aunt and uncle has an account in the same household. And maybe you got somebody else's Healy. 
And if you uh, go to log in with that Healy, it's going to generate a code and send to the, the email on file for that account. So I've had this happen before where a husband and wife mix their Healy's up. And all of a sudden, the, the email code is going to the wife's account and the husband's trying to log in. He says, I'm not getting the code. I'm not getting the code. So he keeps trying, keeps trying. And there's five codes in his wife's email address, right? It's like, okay, um, you got to know that you know different devices have are assigned to an email. All right. So that code goes in there. You type in the code and then uh, the synchronization process starts to download from the cloud to your app. Um, and all those clients, everything that you had been doing up to that point uh, would be downloaded into the app. Now, if you've been using your Healy in demo mode, that does not get stored to the cloud. So I just want everybody to understand, if you don't know what demo mode is, you don't have to worry about it because you haven't been using it. <laughs> but there is a cool feature called demo mode uh, where we can loan somebody our Healy and all of the content all the clients or all the lists when they do scans I'll only stay within the app. They don't get synchronized to any of the uh, in cloud accounts. So, but yeah, if you delete the app and reinstall it and, and you have your device has been synced before, before, um, then all that content is in the cloud waiting for you to reinstall it. Um, there's a great question here. I get this. We've heard this one before. Uh, Dory's asking about um, when you scan, should the coil be off of the device? And thank you, Christian, for answering. Um, there's no issue either way, um, but it's not beneficial. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't add to the effects. Um, so you don't necessarily have to take it off if it's not convenient for you. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely one of the common questions we get. So. Yeah, it's not it's not accenting the effects yeah. it, it, at all. Um, there's really no studies saying that it's nullifying the effects either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, if you if you don't you're worried about losing it or, or something like that or breaking it, you know, okay, you can leave it on there for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Um. It's kind of quiet here in the scene. Yeah. I mean, while we're we got some, I'm sure we'll. Oh, just got cosmic growth just downloaded on my newer Healy. That's great, awesome. Laura. Happy to hear that. Um, and yeah, as you know, a lot of people that have multiple Healy's, they might have cosmic growth on one or more of them, but not all of them too. So, you know, we're we're actually it was March 15th that we started this process, and we mentioned it would take about two months to get it on all of the hundreds of thousands of Healy devices globally. So yeah, we're about a month in, about halfway there, and definitely there'll be more added. I know a lot of you do have it, but for those of you that are waiting, just please be patient. It'll be there before you know it, and then you'll have it for a lifetime. So, Yeah, in fact, um, I think some of the folks that are participating in the study are probably getting their second study analysis um, yeah. email. To, to do the questionnaire because uh, I, I love it that Marcus does studies on this and uses the community out there, you know, try this program out, do a little survey before you start, use the program in a certain way, and then fill a questionnaire out after. So it's kind of a before and after thing, right? So, uh, and then they'll take that information, collect it and uh, come up with, you know, uh, some st statistics about it. Okay, um, let's see. So here's one uh, Marjorie saying, I have a client who got only five yellow circles um, on a white background when she booted up her Healy. Um, nothing was clickable. Um, ever seen that? I'm thinking it was an issue with her phone. So, so yeah, so, okay. So you got five yellow circles and a white background when you open an app. Um, that's definitely something wrong with the with the app function. Uh, the integration with the with the program, the software. An app is essentially a program. It's software, and the device is being run on. Is it something to do with the device? Maybe. I mean, you know, 
But if you get out of that app and you open a different app or do some other function on the device and it works properly, then it's probably not a screen problem, right? So you're, you're, you're muted there, Jake. Yeah, I was gonna say, I've never heard of that or, or seen that. And I don't know of anything in the Healy programming itself that would display something like that. So yeah, it does seem unusual, maybe a device a smart smartphone device issue, not a necessarily a Healy device issue. Right. Uh, it, well, it, so let's say, um, yeah, the, the the hardware, the Healy hardware, guys. I, I, I mean, there's rarely any defects with the hardware. The app, remember, the app is just software, and you know, you could have integration issues between the software and the device. You could have some. Um, one of the common things that happens is the device itself, the smartphone or the tablet or whatever is running out of memory because, you know, you've got a lot of pictures, videos, apps, whatever on it. And when that happens, the, the smart, the, the smart device starts to become compromised and it won't run anything properly, let alone Healy and the Healy apps are kind of resource hungry. So most likely the apps that start to fail first are the ones that require the most resources to function. Does that make sense? So, and Healy requires resources to function because it's doing some complex things. Um, so making sure you have the proper amount of memory on your smart device, uh, making sure you don't have a ton of other apps open in the background. And I'll, I'll ask the audience, do you guys know how to hard close an app? If, if anybody says no, I'm going to guarantee you have too many open right now. <laughs> okay. If you don't know how to hard close an app, on your smart device, then then find out how. And uh, if you don't know how, there's a YouTube something, just go to YouTube, search how to hard close a app on your device, whatever it is, iPhone, Android, whatever it is. And there'll be some video there to help you. Okay. Yeah. We, we talk about some of these things often, um, but, but it's a common thing. It's actually pretty simple to blame Healy you know, if say you get just a bunch of dots and a white background on your, your smartphone and the only thing you did was open the Healy app. Okay. Well, you know, you think, well, that's that's what's going on. It's that, that app. Maybe, but again, maybe the device, like I said, has no memory left, not enough to actually make that app function. Or the download process. Think about this, folks. When, when you're loading an app from the app store, doesn't matter if it's iOS or Android, when you're loading an app to your smart device um, and the modality you're using, say Wi-Fi, or say it is your cellular network data. If there is a bandwidth problem or an interruption in transfer, when I say transfer, it's information from the website, the, the, the app store to your smart device. If there's an interruption somehow, the app could be compromised and, and malfunction. So that's where like Jake said earlier, you delete the app and reinstall it, right? Just making sure that you have a good clean signal, a good Wi-Fi that if you're on a Wi-Fi, and I I don't recommend doing it at a coffee shop or, pub, or public Wi-Fi. Why? Because how many other people are on the Wi-Fi right then, right? How many? Probably a lot. And the more people on the same Wi-Fi or the same uh, router, uh, the narrower the bandwidth of information to you. It's got to be split up amongst the group. So, uh, and no different in, in your home. Like I've got teenagers <laughs> and they've got homework to do, right? Um, we have a smart TV that runs videos. Uh, we got a computer here doing a Zoom call. So if there's a lot of things going on, if I'm trying to download an app on my smart device, I might have a, a, a bandwidth problem. Um, so depending on where you are, and what your internet service is, like where I'm at, I actually have a, an optic cable to my house. Now that's that's probably the widest bandwidth you can get, fiber optic service. Um, but others are out there are like a, you know, a phone line, they call it a, 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 a stranded pair or um, a cable, you know, there could be a coax cable. Um, so all that determines your bandwidth you know, how much information per second can be transferred uh, to your smart device, okay? 
All right, Marty's got a question for us, Jake. Okay, what we got here? Can I use the coil with the cosmic growth all the time, or do I need to use the microcurrent sometimes? Same with coherence. So, for those of you that got the the study email, I believe in the instructions there, it did say to use it with the wristband, either the wrist, you know, wristband electrodes, yeah. um, if possible. So, you know, that's of course different than using the coil. The coil is more convenient in certain situations, but um, for maximum impact, you want to use it at least with the wristbands, you know, once per day uh, minimum there. I believe that the study recommends using this program, particular program twice per day, actually, mm -hmm. with the wristbands. Yeah, for a week. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, and Marty, I like your question because we, we do get this about wristbands versus coil um and it, it there there are two different application modalities that we're talking about here um and marcus has done a great job of some presentations to kind of outline what that means but when when we're when we're using the coil um remember the coil is converting microcurrent the current that would electron flow okay um electron flow current microcurrent it, it's all the same thing when you plug your lamp into the wall, there's current that goes from the wall to the light bulb and the light bulb lights up. Okay, that's that's electron flow. That's a lot, by the way. Don't ever hook that up to your body. Uh, anyway, But this is very, very subtle, very low power. And um, it's still electron flow through your body. And an electron is, is I mean, it's a, a small packet of information. And Healy uses that that modality to pulse the frequencies into your body. It's, it's information at a specific pulse rate and it speaks clearly and very well to your body. Um, your cells understand uh, information like that. Um, so when you convert that signal that would normally be on electron or uh, electron flow, right? Through your wristbands, you convert that to magnetic energy um, it's it's done a little bit differently. It's actually converted to magnetic energy with two fields of transmission. There's two magnetic fields coming out from the coil simultaneously, and they're 180 degrees off from each other. So in other words, they they kind of cancel out. They create what they call a, a zero reference field, a zero point field, right? It's a, uh, a zero vector field. In other words, there's no vector to it. There's no... Um, information really there and then the frequencies are dropped into the center of that field with the Healy device so you because you're wearing the Healy on your body with the coil you're in the middle of those two magnetic fields you're kind of in the in a bubble and then those frequencies are applied to whatever's in the bubble aka you <laughs> so um just different modalities and then your your body kind of decodes the magnetic frequency field different than the electron field okay and i get the quite we get the question all the time is one better than the other they're different <laughs> um lots of information around how electron flow um stimulates atp production amino acid transport and protein synthesis so um there's a lot of studies on that still still collecting data on how magnetic energy infuses into the body but still effective so different yeah i think i think you already answered the second part of the question the same thing applies regarding using the coil with meridians program as far as does it work less it's not less it's differently so yeah different is a better word um then uh, again i can prove to you with science and studies from decades that microcurrent increases ATP production, protein synthesis, and amino acid transport. We have that data. Um, science is still evolving around magnetic influence, still evolving. Now, with all the th all the studies that have already done in the theoretical content, um, there's there's information about effectiveness. Uh, but to do a study, you really have to it takes some work. <laughs>
Uh, so, and there's been a lot of that work already done because microcurrent's been around for a long time. The coil has not. Okay. Uh, Dory says, I'm on my phone. I don't see the question I just wrote. Do you see it? Um, no, I don't. Well, there's a, so there's a question above. Uh, let's see, let's go back up here because there's interactions with, with Christian, some, some comments back and forth. Um, so when, when you reply to say somebody who is, you know, answers you, then those questions stay within that feed just under them. Um, yeah. So it looks like one of, one of them was, I run the sleep program on Mag Healy at night. Okay. That's why the atmosphere program on the, on the Mag Healy for the sleep. Sometimes it's the it's warm in the morning and sometimes it's cold. What's happening? So I guess referring to the actual Mag Healy device, because those those of us that have used it, you know it can it can be a little bit warm to the touch, not hot, but just warm, because the, the coils are on the bottom um, of the Mag Healy. And if you're using it at night, I'll be curious to know, is it are you using it? Um, is it on the charger all night while you're using it? Is it being charged at the same time, which can affect how hot it is or how warm it is when you're using it, or is it just sitting on your nightstand without it? Is it is it still running when you wake up? You know, is it still on and, and actively running, or is it possible that when it's colder, that maybe the program stopped for some reason? Maybe there's somehow just got disconnected or ran out of battery or, or that kind of thing too. I think there's a lot of different variables, and also the temperature of the room could be. <laughs> somewhat or what what is actually rusting on again is it on the charger is it on a a hard service that a hot a hard service that would sort of uh, trap the heat more versus something more breathable as well so i'm wondering maybe you could put some more details so still okay still blinking same place every night so can any ideas what would i mean i mean the intensity has a, a impact on the what setting you're running on, but if it's the same intensity every night, the same place. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. Mr. Engineer. <laughs> yeah. so the, as, as Jake mentioned, when, when you have the mag Healy on the charging plate, all right. Um, anytime a device is consuming energy and being charged, uh, the circuitry in which that's being transferred has a certain resistance level. And anytime you have resistance, you have heat, okay? And so as you're depleting it, as you're depleting the device, um, it's going to, and if you're depleting and charging at the same time, it's gonna warm up. Um, the um, intensity definitely has a, an effect. And I, I know that if you're not on the charging plate and you're using the sleep program for eight hours, uh, cause as you're running it, you know, it, there's no timer on, it's just going to continue to run depending on the amplitude you have it. Um, it can warm up. You can, you can warm up on the bottom side. Um, that's not unusual. And when the battery goes low enough to where it can't actually run the program, um, you may lose connection with the app, but you could still see an oscillation of the light. doesn't mean it's still running. So in other words, it could have stopped running the program, but yet still have an indication that it's not totally dead yet. Um, and that will allow it to cool off because it's not, it's not emitting that magnetic energy anymore. It's kind of um, in power saver mode. It's not really power saver mode. It's just not, you know. Yeah, it, I'm wondering if maybe also it's due to the, the timing of the, the charging cycle, if it's actively... Because there, there is a limit to where the Mag Healy will stop charging at, at that point, too. Is, is it depending on how long it's been running um, that night? If, if when you take it off, sometimes it's in the middle of charging or if it had shut off for a period of time because uh, it uh, was at 100 percent capacity or that kind of thing as well. Yeah, the, the, the key thing is, is to um, like she's saying that it's not on the charge. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, not on the charging plate. Got it. 
Right. It's not on the charging plate, meaning that it it's going to probably go dead. It's probably going to yeah. run out of power uh, before you know an eight hour cycle. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And so what happens is it, when it when it runs out of enough power to run a program, doesn't mean it necessarily shuts off because you could still see the green light may still be just barely oscillating. But it but if you open the app, you'll see it's not running a program. Okay, so it's it's it doesn't have enough power to run a program. So somewhere along the line, it stops. And when it stops transmitting magnetic energy out of the uh, out of the um, noise generator, um, then then there's less components being um, ran, right? And so it cools off. It'll cool off. But if you were to keep this on the charging plate all night long and running the, the same program, it's going to warm up. You know, I guarantee it's going to warm up. Um, but like Jake said, it does charge. It doesn't continuously. Um, it it doesn't continuously suck power, right? It's got yeah. a cycling. Yeah, the the key thing is warming up is normal. Okay, um, hot and smelling like it's burning is not normal. <laughs> okay. All right. Here's one. Let's see what do we got. Bioenergetics of Defense uh, General Protection Program. It says this program is applied without electrodes. Um, the image shows that the Healy is just uh, attached to a shirt pocket, or in the and with this and without a coil or bracelets, without the without the coil or the bracelets. Um, the wave doesn't form. Does it still work um, as an error message? It does appear on the display. Okay. I love this question. Thanks Deb for that. Um, because yeah, the, the general protection program, um, it does show you just having the Healy hardware, you know, just in your pocket, clip to your shirt pocket or your pants, your belt buckle or your belt loop or something with no, with no electrodes and no coil. Um, what I, we've talked, I've talked about this many times in the before, but Healy does have uh, a frequency generator built inside of it. Okay. So when you run any program, irregardless, if you're connected uh, to the wristbands or to the coil, um, it still has the ability to send a frequency into the field, just into the field. So this is the way that quantum entanglement happens when we're running in vibrate mode with the blue dot. Okay. Cause the Healy is still transmitting a frequency, a frequency is still being generated by the program. And then it's being transmitted simultaneously, not all, but some of the, most of the programs are being transmitted through the electrodes and the, the general protection one, um, it is being generated through the electrodes and the transmitters. So just like the others, you could do this I, again. It's not, um, it's not recommended that you run all the programs without being connected. It Healy shows you how to connect on purpose. And it's because it wants to optimize the effects of those frequencies to your body or to the client, however it's being connected. Uh, and general protection, those frequencies were designed to essentially be, um, I don't know, we can call it atmospheric, <laughs> right? They, they they will still be absorbed by the body um, through the frequency generator that's in Healy itself. Uh, can you connect to the electrodes and do the def those uh, general protection programs with them? Yeah, you can. And I guarantee you, you'll feel microcurrent, right? So yes, they're still working. Yes, the program will say, um, frequencies are being generated, but no current is being flown through the body because you, why you're, well, you're not connected. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's okay. Great. that It was made that yeah. way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a, uh, yeah. I mean, it's a great question for sure. You know, it's different than 
um, most of our programs, but yeah, that's that's the way it's intended to work. Yeah, but yeah that's kind of easy to mention. Yeah, you, know, you can be below the part where it says, you know, applied without the electrodes, it says it can be used with the electrodes for the, the more intense application. So it's really up to you uh, in that case. This is one. This was one of the um, the pages that I used a lot in the beginning to show people that yeah, you know, Healy is a frequency transmitter because yeah. you see right there that it, these programs were designed to be utilized without any attachments, um, and still going to get into the body. There are certain frequencies that increase their effectiveness when they're applied through um, a different stimulation. So that's why if you notice every single one of the app or one of the programs on the app shows you how to connect, shows you where to connect. And that's how we just simply optimize the effects. You can adjust those things all you want. <laughs> you know, I highly recommend if you do keep track, keep track. How did it go? Okay, so Marjorie's saying that I ran bioenergetic boost without being physically connected uh, throughout the condition we had where we all stayed home and <laughs> remained well. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Yeah, you know, I, I I fully know the power of these bodies to heal. And when we give them the right tools, the right mindset, the right nutrients. Yeah, you're going to be pretty healthy. All right. Yes. So that's a good question. This just came in here. Uh, when you search something on the Wavy app, so the yeah the heal advisor app um which is yeah we got the, the three little waves on there does everyone get the same result or is it specific to the person searching so this one the analyze app when you're doing an actual analysis of the individual is specific the heal advisor is searching a database for terms um, at that point so whatever you search in there it has groups of programs uh, that, that contain frequencies that are known to be beneficial for whatever topic that you're searching for, essentially. So, um, I mean, it could if, if you're typing it in exactly <laughs> as someone else, it should be the same. A lot of times people use slightly different words or uh, that kind of things that describe similar uh, topics and stuff. But that would be the that would be the biggest variable is what you're how you're typing it in. Yeah, I understand that the heal advisor search is not applying it to a person there's no client yeah. there's no specificity you, you're not even connecting to your healy device in that app it's nope. just yeah no it's just all it's all search keyword generated yeah. so and then it goes through the the huge database that healy has knowing that that search word um is is helped or aligned with this particular program or and as you notice when you type in a, a word um you'll get uh, group names, right? You'll get names of groups of programs. So you click on the name, right? The very first one, and there'll be a list of programs. So it, it doesn't necessarily give you a, a program name. It gives you a group name. And uh, so, uh, and the very first one that you get is going to be the highest priority one to use. You know, you, you can yeah. go through all of them, but. Yeah. Yeah. You can look through each of them and to see what the programs that are recommended, but. Yeah, the the top search result is the one that's the most relevant at that time. Then you can you can create an IMF schedule from there um, too, as well, which is cool. So, yeah, that uh, it's super powerful, it, and you know, it, it's I don't recommend. I mean, if you guys are a specialist, uh, uh, some kind of specialist within a field, um, then you know, making recommendations is great if you have a business around it. But if I, if you don't, if you're not, um, then it's better to steer people towards that database because there's a lot of, a lot of study, a lot of experience 
goes into that database, you know, hundreds of uh, th thousands of practitioners and many, many different um, scans and tests. Uh, and this is the best results. So, you know, that database is speaking from experience. I use it all the time for myself, but I also always steer people there. And, and Laura says that I'm, that, uh, I'm always amazed how often the gold programs come up on a variety of searches. Yeah, the, those seven programs on there are, are, are made for humanity, for, for, for pretty much everything, right? There's, a, there's something in there. Um, maybe, and sometimes it's not maybe the first one on the list, but a lot of times it's really high on the list. That would make sense. And they are definitely gold. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. How are we doing? Are we doing good? I think we are. I think we're caught up. We've been pretty yeah. efficient today. But... Okay. Right on. Um, anything you want to announce, Jake, for coming up this week? Uh, well... We uh -huh. have a cool announcement coming up on What's Up Wednesday tomorrow regarding a new feature uh, for our for our tech support. Actually, not the tech support, customer care and tech support, which we'll announce during the call tomorrow. So if you want to check that out at 1 p.m. Eastern uh, time, it's HealyWUW.com. Um, and also, I think I, I wanted to share, just for anyone that missed it, there's a new uh, video series on the Healy official YouTube channel, which is worth checking out. So let me just share, we'll hop, hop on over to our YouTube channel here for a minute. And okay, so this is Healy World Official. So again, you can go to, to YouTube and search at Healy World Official, take you to this page. Definitely subscribe to this page. There's a ton of content always added here, but um, you see all the different sections, shorts, Healy World product highlights, Mag Healy, Healy Horizon, Resonance Podcast, Anvil Module. So near, at least on mine, this might vary depending on if you're subscribed to it or not. But there's these new videos um, that Kai does from our product marketing specialist called Beyond Waves. And actually, if you go to uh, Playlist, you'll see here it's the, the newest playlist, Beyond Waves. You can do a view full playlist and they're they're shorter videos it's you know kai also does the the great resonance podcast series which is awesome as well and these are shorter these are like you can see here they're like six seven minutes long um on a specific topic this this just started about two weeks ago the first one was on um meet the healy so basic overview of the healy device and then this newest one from last week was um uh, meet the coil. So tips and things related to how the coil works and um, key facts related to it as well. So if you haven't checked these out, again, go to the, the Healy World official YouTube channel um, and then you'll see the new Beyond Waves uh, videos there, which are great. And then of course, after that, if you haven't already, go to the Healy World America's YouTube channel uh, which is where we put the recordings for Tech Tip Tuesday, Healy for Beginners and Beyond, uh, What's Up Wednesday, Frequencies and Friends, that kind of thing. And of course, you see this was last uh, week's Tech Tip Tuesday. And then for those of you that missed it, uh, if you scroll over a little bit, you'll see our, actually it's down here, Healy for Beginners and Beyond. If you go to the playlist, if you missed our last Healy for Beginners and Beyond, we covered a ton of content you'll see here eight days ago. Uh, lots of topics, cosmic growth, Mag Healy water tips, current level updates, live chat updates as well. So uh, this is where to go to check all those recordings as well. Great stuff. So many tools. Um, yeah. <laughs> it just keeps growing. And I, I love that. Um, and, and, Back to the Heal Advisor search app, um, and Christian's putting some content in there too to help you out when it's when we're trying to come up with uh, putting in some search words. A single word is helpful, um, the, you know. It and then 
sometimes like there's an example here deb puts in and i tried pins and needles and nothing comes out because you know if you, you describe the sensation in some other way um whether it's tingles or numbness or whatever you know that those are going to be probably more common um you may find more content uh when you put just changing the words to try to understand describe in yeah it, it's i forget the exact number of search terms that are but it's it's not every um search term there some of this one of the more common things yeah yeah okay um so dory says when i use coach um the results are almost opposite what i think any thoughts yeah you're thinking <laughs> the, here's the fun part the the fun part is is that when what what we think um has probably got us into the pickle we're in <laughs> right and so it's the mind that tends to get in the way right um and when we're using the coach the coach analysis or actually any of the heal advisor analyzed systems are a objective observer there the way that it's working is it's looking from the information field uh, analysis what that means is it's um it, it is really a it's it's not it doesn't care about gender it doesn't care about age um, it is very objective when, um, it, I mean, it does care about gender, but it's very objective when it's looking at the result for an ask. You're asking it to give you uh, a result based on a goal within the coaching module. And the database is going to look at the client and see this, this client content um, in its perfect form from an objective perspective, not from what you think, not what the client thinks, but what the client needs to align the goal um, to the client. Um, and of course, if we think that um, we think that I will maybe be more successful in a career if I work harder and you've worked hard all your life and you haven't gained that result well then what you think might need to be altered right and so instead it may be something to do with um skill sets or or healing is going to pick out things when you're when you put that goal in there uh around career uh around success whatever it is healing is going to pick things that you didn't think of because it, had you thought of them you probably have done them and you wouldn't have uh any problem yet <laughs> right so it's an objective observer. And I love the fact it comes up with things that we didn't think of. Yeah. And there's, if you haven't checked it out, the series of videos in the Healy Academy on the coaching module are great as well there. Um, again, the, the, the objective observer, that kind of thing, there's all kinds of videos that discuss that. And I wonder Ken, one of the, the other things that are mentioned, because when she mentioned that the results are almost opposite of what uh, she thinks there, I wonder, could this be related to, you know, because when you get the results, there's different codes for the potency of you know, the D, C, and LM, where D is more in the, the foreground and the, the consciousness and the D is in the background or the subconscious, where if you're getting results that in the subconscious, it might be the opposite of what you think because you're not really aware of it um, presently at this time. So could that could that be somewhat? Uh, I know you you and uh, Lori do some great uh, team up on the on the the coaching modules. <laughs> well, in the world of epigenetics, epigenetics is essentially the uh, influence of genetic expressions outside the cell, and and there is. Uh, and I, I talk about this all the time, 3% of the genetic code determines the type of cell, right? Bone cell, muscle cell, skin cell. There's a very small amount of that code that determines it's going to be this. And Bruce Lipton did a lot of work on this decades ago. Um, but 
the genome project in the nineties um, disproved it once upon a time, the, the 3% was set in stone. It was going to be this kind of a cell. And then science thought the other 97% of that genetic code was junk DNA. And um, Bruce Lipton knew better. He knew that, that the influence of the environment had a signaling process of the genetic outcome. And so that would, that would help determine the cell. But what we've learned uh, over the years and since the genome project in the nineties, that that 97% of the, of that, Genetic code is an adaptive gene reading the environment to determine essentially to what quality and kind of cell that the 3% is determining uh, so that the host can survive. So in other words, if you put the body in a stress response condition, the body's built to handle that environment. You put it in a more relaxed environment, the body's built to handle that environment. No different than if you put someone in the frigid cold versus the the humid heat. The body adapts. And so that's that 97% of the adaptive gene. That's epigenetics, reading the environment. And so it's completely objective. It doesn't, it doesn't care. It just says, I just got to survive. So I'm going to build a body that's going to do so. Um, but our thoughts do have impression on that 97% because it's our thoughts create energy fields creates emotional content chemistry in the body and the cells have to adapt to be able to fit in if, if you are um, angry all the time your body's built to handle that emotional load uh, if you're joyful all the time same thing so the coaching program is objective um, essentially reading what environment's needed for you or what what content uh, should be infused into your environment to signal genes. Um, but it's giving it to you in ways of information um, so that you can read it and say, oh, well, I'm not acting, I'm acting incorrectly here, or I'm, I should do these kind of steps, right? So, um, and then there's frequencies that you can generate from that program that then speak to that other 97% of the adaptive gene on an energy level. So I, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. Okay. Uh, so to Toby was asking about that process to find out how to get that cosmic growth to download and, and Christian's putting some content in there. Yeah, yeah. Let well, me go. Can... Let me. Sorry, I was going to go ahead. Can I'm going to share sure. my screen here in a second? But were you going to tell about where we did that on the Healy for Beginners and Beyond? Uh, I can. I was going to. I'll do that as well. Let me just go to. I had Academy pulled up here, so related to the the coaching module video. So if you go to academy.healy.world, log in with your username and password that you use to log into the apps. Um, and then at the top, go to products, coach module, and you'll see here there's a whole series of videos that explain how the coach module works, the observer effect in quantum physics, um, and then a little bit about interpretation of the analysis parameters that was related to that DCLM uh, results there for the potencies as well. Transmission duration also mentions that too. So yeah, definitely check these out if you want to get more in-depth into what exactly is going on um, in the coaching module too. And then if you go, let me just swap, swatch over here to, you can see my YouTube screen now, right? Yes, okay, yes. Cool. Yeah, so Healing for Beginners and Beyond, um, I guess we, we covered this a few times now, Cosmic Growth, but since I have this screen already pulled up here, um, if you click on Cosmic, this first video here, and if you, ads there but um, if you go down you'll see here if you click more underneath the program description it pulls up a list of all the topics we covered and then you can click on the timestamp. it'll take you to where we discussed what is the new cause of growth program and then also where it's located and how do i manually check for updates also and then we showed exactly what the program looks like a bunch of different screenshots of it of the program actually going through the fibonacci sequence which is pretty cool as well 
Yeah, yeah I, I'll tell you what, it's been super helpful. I've had, I've referred so many people to that. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's nice to have that tool so you don't have to keep, you know, it's just, just here you go. Here's the link. <laughs> and yeah. and you, you're going to gain more information than trying to text something to somebody. You know, I, I get people ask a lot of questions. So uh, super helpful stuff. These tools uh, and, and the Academy is growing and growing. And by the way, you know, folks that last week was the first um, Academy training series, right? There's now a, a call that you can get on a zoom call and learn about the Academy. It, and that that's being recorded too. I'm assuming that's going to wind up on what? What platform, Jake? The the recordings of the academy training. Are you familiar with it? I actually don't know. I would maybe an academy. I'm not, I'm not really sure. I'll have to, to look more into that. Yeah, it was last week. Was the first one. Um, yeah, I think there's another one. Not this week, but next week, right? I think on the yeah. Yeah, I think it's going to be a bi-monthly or, or something. Yeah. I, I, it sounds like maybe it's just kind of gaining some traction. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so. All right. Let's see. What else we got? Any other questions, you guys? Um, looks like everything's getting solved. I love it. And by the way, you guys, if you want to save the chat, um, you know, somewhere there are three little dots uh, in your chat window, whether it be down by where you type your words or at the top, three little dots. You tap on that and there's a save chat option up there. And if, the, if you're on your laptop or uh, on your PC, uh, your computer, um, at the end of this call, there'll be a message pops up that says save chat and you can save it to your uh, to your hard drive. Okay. All right. Just a few minutes here, guys, left. Um, hopefully, you guys will join tomorrow for is there What's Up Wednesday tomorrow? I, yes. Yes. Yep. Join the What's Up Wednesday tomorrow. Um, that is at uh, 10 o'clock Pacific, 1 o'clock Eastern. Um, the links are in the Telegram group. They're also uh, on the calendar, the Healy's calendar. Um, if you guys aren't using that, that's another great resource resource for going directly to any of the events that are going on, the virtual events. Yeah. So we got one more question that came in here. Maybe this will be the last one for the night, but uh, so the client and his wife used, or they used to use their separate iPads without a problem since, but it's since installing the new, it looks like they have, they're sharing a device. They have two iPads um, trying to use the new Analyze app. Uh, hers, hers doesn't work. I guess his works. Hers doesn't work. It says the code was never sent. So, if you're if you're sharing a device, it's one one account. So, like if I have, I have a say I have an iPhone and an iPad. Um, when I go to log in, say my the iPhone is my main device, and I want to install the the new Analyze app on my iPad. Once I go to install it on the iPad, it will send the code to the email address on the of the account on file there. So they use the same email for the two devices. There's there's no technical reason why, that, that, that's perfectly fine. A lot of people will do that. There's no reason that that shouldn't work, but if you're not getting the code when you do it on the second device, um, you know, that's, you know, typically it's the recommendation is to at least try to, to, to delete the app and reinstall it again to see that if that might trigger something there, but um, and Christian, I don't know if you may have come across any of these during the, you know, any of the tech support tickets or chats either. So if there's any, any tip as far as trying to receive that code again, um, you know, it could be some sort of one-off situation that our tech support team might need to do a little bit more research, but what you're describing is definitely something that's you done all the time. Um, so the, 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 yeah, if you have one Healy, obviously you, you've got one Healy hardware device, one account, right? So each Healy is assigned to an account, but you have multiple users, right? So multiple devices, you got 
iPads, iPhones, tablets, Androids, whatever, um, and all these devices that have the apps loaded on them. Okay. Uh, so when you go to, obviously, if you, if you go to use the pink app, right, the, the Healy 2 app, it's just going to simply have you scan the serial number on the back, right? And it's going to activate. But with the resonance, a bit different. Uh, it needs to have an authentication process. And so the authentication process is still going to look at the account for that device. So when you open the app, first thing it does ask you put in your, your username or your email address, right? So you put that in. Whatever the email address is for that account is where that code should go. If it's not, if the code's not going to that email address, then put in a service ticket. Put in a customer service oh. ticket. If you, if you did put in a ticket already, bring that ticket to this call. All right. Bring it here. Bring it, get us the number. Um, Christian, our customer service agent in the background, can can look it up and find out well, what's going on. Okay. Because that's the way it works. Um, it doesn't matter if, if it worked before and it doesn't now, something changed. Let's find out what. What changed? Um, did something change with, um, I mean, I don't know. So if it's something outside of Healy, such as the email handler, whoever, whatever the email address is hosted on. Yeah. You know, if, if there's something going on with that email host, but if you're still getting emails from other sources, if you're still getting emails from Healy, like the newsletters and, um, you know, updates and content, it's probably not the email handling system. Uh, we need to find out by getting customer service involved to take a look at the account itself. Um, maybe there's some reset needing to be done. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, and, and we're here every week. So Patty, please <laughs> um, bring stuff in. Let's get it solved. Um, I know that we can do that here. All right, you guys. Well, it is the end of the hour. Uh, thank you so much for being here. And, um, you know, like I said, we'll be here next week. Uh, tune in tomorrow for What's Up Wednesday. And um, we'll see you guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Christian. Thanks, Jake. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, thanks, Ken. Thanks, Christian. Have a great night, everyone. All right. Bye, everybody.